Okay, I just saw a quick video of the Orville Dam Watch Group. He just said to trust the DWR, that they can do, they, they have a questionnaire that people can ask anything they want to DWR about the dam. Uh, Why well, all of a sudden the transparency? They're so great, right? And he's just like saying, oh, all they said was happened with gate number eight was a seal broke and all that. But why is there all that leaking everywhere else? And why why they took the cameras down? Why were they, uh, why does the cameras keep dropping all that? And it's still happening. Like you try to watch the bottom view of the spillway and the camera shuts off. If everything's so wonderful and great and all that, why? And why do we have people from the Kewitt Construction Company commenting on, um, people's YouTube pages and including mine and saying I look like a man and all that and you know it's a DWR or a Qit employee because you look at their channel and they have no content or if anything they have on there it's all construction videos so you know it's somebody in construction that's commenting and making rotten comments and this is California so you can't believe everything that happens in California you can't believe every last thing that happens in the state is the truth because sometimes they lie because this is California you have Gavin Newsom as the governor of the state and Governor Brown was in charge of this dam and they said that some people said that the dam is built on top of a mine an old an old uh, gold mine where people used to go and look for gold in there and that's why probably why the spillway is partially compromised why it's uh, hollowed out and why the the rock keeps coming apart and why they have to keep repairing it. So I'm, I'm surprised about the Orville Dam Watch Group guy. Yeah, fine. You could do the uh, ask five questions to the DWR. Fine. It doesn't mean they're going to answer them honestly. It just means they're going to answer them in the way they want to answer them. In the meantime, we just all we could do is guess about what's happening. And we don't have a lot of choices as well as our roads and bridges in our state. Because they're not being taken care of or paid for by our government here in this state. That money is being squandered to uh, help sanctuary cities because sanctuary cities aren't being funded by Trump. He's not sending any federal money because he knows exactly where it's going to go. Right to the sanctuary cities and not to the repairs of the state. That's why the state's being starved out, why uh, more taxes are being inflicted on people here. And we know why they're holding that water in because Los Angeles wants that water and they can get top dollar for that but for that water. So they're willing to uh, basically make that dam become worse and worse and get in worse shape and, and for their, quote, seals to come apart because there's too much water in there right now. And that, that dam needs to be repaired, that those gates need to be repaired, seriously repaired. And they're just leaving water in there and they're not worried about it, even though less than two years ago, the water spilled over because things were not being done right. And they should have let the water out early this year, just so they could do the repairs they need to do without the extra water in there getting in the way. Now it's all about profit, and they're going to act like they're transparent, and they're really not. They're going to say, anyone that has an anti-dam video needs to just shut it off or shut it down, including Susan Walding, and just forget all about it, and just move on with your life. That's what they're basically going to say, and say, don't pay attention to those pages, or those YouTube pages, because... They don't know what they're talking about. We, You could ask us any questions and we'll answer them. And we'll answer it honestly, right? Of course. So people like us don't know what we're talking about. Even though we see the problems in the state. And we can't trust our water systems or anybody else. Because they're metering our water too. They want to control all of our water. Telling you you can't uh, dig a well in your own yard. If you want to build a house. They're telling you, oh, you need to pipe into city water. And if you want to dig a well, you have to go through contractors we tell you to go through. And we're going to put a meter on it, so you're still going to be regulated, and you still can't wash your car in the driveway or anything else, or water your garden or your grass, even though it's your well water. See what I'm saying?